Howdy there, folks. Welcome back to the original Mega Man. So, we're gonna go ahead and take on Iceman be because he's weak against the Like Man. I mean, come on, folks. Why else would I be taking him on? And I do have to say, uh, Iceman's stage is really, really, uh, fucked up. <laughs> Those are palm trees in the background, right? Is this meant to imply that, uh, Iceman went to the Bahamas and froze them or something? I, I don't know. It's just weird. His stage has water, but the jumping mechanics that are in every other Mega Man game from 2 and onwards, all the way through the X series, the Zero series, and I don't know about Legends or any of the other ones that I've not played, because I've only played up through the Zero series, and... You know, it's funny, I actually have no desire to play ZX. Honestly, I didn't care much for the Zero series. They... The main reason why is because, honestly, I like the more cartoony feel. That's why I like the classic games better. And I don't mind the X games. They did go for a more dramatic type of deal, but it still felt cartoony enough for me, at least up through X4. But uh, the Zero series, no, they went way too serious. I'm sorry, I can't take a game where you're playing as a robot, fighting other robots to save the world and whatnot. I just can't take it seriously. It's a cartoon to me. <laughs> And honestly, that's how I want all video games to be. They all need to be cartoony, damn it. But anywho, Iceman stage is what I'd actually consider far and away the hardest stage in the game, mostly just because of the things coming up, and that's these eyeball platforms. They move in a very erratic... You can't even really call it a pattern. They just move very erratically. It is doable without the magnet beam, but, oh, get ready. You're going to be dealing with this shit a lot. And then they start throwing the penguins at you. Oh, it, it's a nightmare. I made it look easy because I have the Magnet Beam, of course, which I highly recommend getting, but yeah. Iceman himself uh, hits just as hard as a Lek Man, in that he will kill you in three hits if you get hit from him. Three hits and you're dead. The big difference is that Iceman is so freaking easy to dodge his attacks. As will, well, actually, we won't see because... The weapon we got from Elect Man is the Elect Beam, the best weapon in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> and it kills Iceman in three hits, and all you have to do is as soon as you can start firing, just push the fire button three times and you win. But Iceman's pattern is he shoots ice... ice... shots? I forget what they're called. He shoots three up, or three going down, and then three going up. It's very simple to dodge. Very easy to beat with the Mega Buster. If his stage wasn't a nightmare, I'd say go after him first. But yeah, that was Iceman's stage. I consider it far and away the most difficult as far as platforming goes. In the grand scheme of things, bosses, robot masters, all this stuff. Uh, no, not so much. Fireman, on the other hand, is my least favorite robot master in this game. Good God, but we'll get to that. He has a very easy stage. If it wasn't for him himself, I'd say this is another great care or great stage to go and do at the beginning. The Elect Beam's fantastic, as you can see. You get like, I think it's like 28, 29 shots of it. Something insane like that. But it fires a, a gigantic electrical beam up, down, and right in front of Mega Man. The one that goes right in front of him is so freaking huge. Jeez, a loo. And because you can fire so much of it, it's so powerful, it goes through walls, you really can't top the Elect Beam. That said, the weapon I'm going to be using for most of this stage is the Magnet Beam, because, oh, I fucking love it. I really wish they'd bring the Magnet Beam back. You get other, uh, platforming tools in upcoming games that we'll probably get to eventually. Eventually, I have no idea how long this is gonna this is gonna go on. Like these Mega Man games, I have no idea how long they're going. I'm just doing them while I do Legend of Dragoon. But my point is, I really like the the Magnet Beam. I wish it would come back in some other ones, some other Mega Man games. Oh, something I meant to bring up during Ice Man stage. Uh, a lot of people say that Mega Man One, uh, Mega Man's movement block movement is a little weird, because he kind of slides, I guess, uh, when you're running and you go to stop. Honestly, I've never noticed it. 
I, all I can think, I, I've never noticed it. He feels the exact same to me control-wise between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. <laughs> so I never noticed it, so I can't really say that for myself, but I know a lot of folks really feel that way. And that his movement style and whatnot really screws them up. More so in Iceman stage, but you know, it's icy. It's supposed to be slippery. I, I, I don't know. I never had much of a problem with it. But anywho, we're at Fireman, my least favorite robot master to fight in this game. Mostly because he doesn't have a fucking pattern. <laughs> he just constantly spams the freaking Firestorm attack over and over and over. I can't dodge it. I can't beat him with the Mega Buster. My, my only chance of beating him is using the Ice Iceman's weapon and just trying to outmuscle him. I can't do it with the Mega Buster. He's, I think he's far and away the most difficult to fight in this game. Elect Man may be able to kill you in three hits, but his Elect Beam, if you know how it works, you can dodge it fairly easily. But anywho, folks, it's time now for Dr. Wily. And oh my god, that fucking sound. I swear to god, they start doing that on purpose after this one. <laughs> but anywho, it's time for Wily number one. So, you guys remember those big mechanical guys, right? The ones that are at the end of a lot of stages. Well, they kill you in three hits if you touch them. And so, but of course, because, well, why not? Uh, Dr. Wily releases three of these fuckers. So, basically, if you don't dodge at least one of them, you're gonna die. <laughs> you know what's actually funny? If Dr. Wily wants to conquer the world, why is he even screwing around with Robot Masters? Just make... Just make an army of those giant things. <laughs> They're annoying as hell to kill. Why not? But anywho, um, as with all castles in the classic Mega Man series, you, well, not all of them, but most of them, you do want to be fairly conservative with your weapons because you do need them to get through. Uh, we actually just passed my least favorite part of this stage, and that's the fire... the flamethrowers going up and down. You can freeze them with the ice... weapon. <laughs> you can freeze them with the ice weapon, and that helps, but the problem is, is that... It, it, after the first one, it's really hard for me to be able to freeze and then actually get to where I can go up. And I really hate it. I'm surprised I did as well as I did. You want to be careful, because the bullet bills, if they knock you into spikes, well, well, that's it. You're going to die. You're, you're just going to die. You're just going to die. Nothing you can do about it. This part. This part's really bad as well. Um, unless you have the magnet beam, as you can see. Again, these helicopter platforms, they don't have a pattern. They're just going erratically. And I swear to God, they purposely fly up to where you hit your head on the spikes. And there's nothing you can do about it. If you did not get the Magnet Beam, you do not get to pass this point. Yes, you heard me, you do not get to pass. You cannot pass, damn it. <laughs> and, uh, honestly, that's pretty shitty, I do have to say. Something completely optional to get. I can excuse it for this game because, it, you know, it's the first Mega Man game, but this problem comes up again in later ones, but we'll get to that. It's time now for the boss of Wily 1. Yeah, this level's pretty short. I'm sure the boss is gonna be a pushover too. Holy shit! What the fuck are those? God damn, they're going so fucking fast! Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yellow Devil! This is a very, very hard boss, as you can probably tell. Um, <laughs> those things, they move, I don't know what they are, the little blobs he makes, they go so fucking fast! And they're really hard to dodge. Um, they always go in the same pattern every time, so once you get the pattern down, you can probably do it fairly easy. But, yeah, that's still very, very tense. And the only real tip I can offer... There's only two tips I can offer for this guy. The first one is don't do as big a jumps as you can when you're jumping over most of these blobs, because you need to hit the ground so you can jump again, you know, as soon as you can. The other thing that I'd recommend is run run to the opposite side when he as he's opening his eye and he fires the little pellet. Because that pellet does the same as running into one of the blobs. And that way the pellet will always miss. 
And then I guess the final thing I can say about him is uh, there's actually a glitch for this boss in that when you fire the elect beam and you just mash the pause button over and over and over and over and over again, each time you push the pause button, it counts as hitting him again, so you can kill him in one shot. But, you know, that's cheating. That's exploiting a glitch. Although, if they were going to pick a boss to have a glitch on, that'd be the one. <laughs> I got pretty lucky, though. Uh, he kicked my ass pretty bad at the beginning of that fight, but I managed to make a comeback. Very short level, Wily One. One of the hardest bosses. I actually think it's the second hardest. I do not think it is the hardest boss in this game. But, anywho, I hate these hell... I... I Anything helicopters in this game, I fucking hate, okay? <laughs> uh, most annoying enemies by far, though. Seriously. Really hate these things. Oh, hey, weapon- Oh, shit! And, like all Mega Man games, uh, there is indeed a boss rush. However, this one doesn't work like all the other boss rushes. Um... They're split up, at least for the most part, but we'll get to that. I'm not going to be speeding up these bo- Blah. I'm not going to be speeding up Mega Man 1's boss rush because, well, you know, that's, that's a lot of work. Also, uh, I did terrible fighting Cutman. Believe me, he's not as hard as I made him look. He's really easy to beat. Don't worry about him. Oh, damn. Okay, well, last time I fell through a hole, so right about there. Oh, shit. Yeah, they moved the hole. Anywho, we're now facing off with Alekman. He's electrifying. Some folks actually asked uh, why I said that. I'm assuming they haven't played Mega Man Powered Up, because that's what he says and how he says it in that game, and I, I actually like that a lot. I think that's hilarious. I love Mega Man Powered Up, my third favorite Mega Man game, believe it or not. Anywho, though. Yeah, Lechman, weak against Rolling Cutter. Uh, if you're about to get hit by him, you're going to want to run into him rather than take the Elect Beam, because it'll do a little less damage. I don't think it does, like, a massive amount less, but it does a little. I'm going to use the, er, blah, the Magnet Beam to get that extra life, because, well, why the fuck not? Although I am out of, uh, Magnet Beam energy, so that sucks. You don't want to just drop down outside of this building that we're going down now, because there are spikes everywhere. No matter where you drop down from outside of this place, you're, you're going to fall onto spikes. That's pretty much all there is to it. Like, uh, out there, that weapon energy. If you, for some reason, because you're an idiot, fall off... Oh, shit. Yeah, if you fall off the fucking ladder, you're going to fall onto spikes. Luckily, I already reached the checkpoint, so whatever, I don't care. And I could grab that extra life, but I ran out of magnet beam energy, so I can't now. Not that it matters, I'm not that worried about lives, believe it or not. It's not that big a deal. A lot of folks consider Mega Man 1 to be one of the most notoriously hard NES games. I don't agree at all. It definitely has its hard moments. But one of the hardest NES games, come on! Come on, this game's very fair. Like, way more than fair. They gave you so many powerful weapons, so many useful things you can do. The level design's not cheap. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't buy that bullshit. Anywho, I'm refilling my Elect Beam because... Well, the boss that we're coming up to isn't really weak against it. it honestly, it's my preferred weapon to use, but we'll get to that. We're actually coming up on it pretty damn quick. What the hell are those? Oh my god! It's Copy Mega Man! I'm gonna call him Nega Man, because why the fuck not? So, he uses whatever weapon you use, and he's constantly running towards you, and he jumps every time you push the fire button, I believe is how it works. Whether it's towards you or away, I don't know. A lot of folks like using the Firestorm. A lot of folks really like using Fireman's weapon. I prefer using a Lechman's weapon because this always happens. I always am able to get that to happen. He jumps, the Elect Beam has such a huge range that it hits him and he flies back. He's really simple when you know that. Any of you folks, we'll finish up Mega Man 1, the original, the classic. We'll take the fight. 
to Dr. Wiley in part three. I'll see you guys then.